It is the 24th of the 4th, 2013, and this is your radioactive reality. Let's go down the headline news. Uh, Any news? Tamura, a city about 20 kilometers west of the nuclear plant that was originally in the no-go zone, was moved to the sub-20 millisievert zone on April 2012 and is recovering quickly. The ban on vegetable shipments from Tamura was lifted last month, making it the first no-go zone to receive a green light for sales. Residents and architectural co cooperatives in the city said that at least two farms are preparing to plant rice and others are planning to grow feed grain. Excruciating, bizarre, grotesque ailments after working at BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, food industry wor workers coming out whistleblowing saying she was deathly ill due to uh, chemical exposure um, working out on those ships. Xenon detected in Japan. It's consistent with nuclear fission event. Could be from reactor or other atomic activity. Uh, North Korean bomb tw test question mark. They said it takes about 50 days to get over there and it's been 55 since the North Korean tested that nuke uh, not too long ago and uh, they're saying it's either the, the North Koreans or they've got a nuclear problem in China or Korea. New flyover of giant sinkhole oil sheen covering surface of section of trees not turning green. This is uh, Bayou Corn, Louisiana of course and that sinkhole is just going to keep growing and growing and growing. You've got to remember, it's the deepest one ever. Just thankful uh, suspect was stopped at the edge of U.S. nuclear plant. Authorities not discussing motive for shooting. Description, dark hoodie driving a John boat. They have a video on that. Apparently they got, the guy got away and they're dropping it. So uh, something definitely weird going on in Tennessee. Fukushima fallout spiked after a year after 3.11. They've got some charts and graphs on that. Now these are TEPCO studies, so you can't really believe uh, anything uh, they're putting out. CNN shows diagram of nuclear material leaking from Fukushima reactor. Quote, TEPCO always says it's all right. It always turns out that they're not telling the truth, unquote. And we all know TEPCO's liar. And who owns TEPCO now? the Japanese government. Yes, the taxpayers of Japan own TEPCO. Uh, officials trying to stop nuclear material from spreading after collapse at Chernobyl. Uh, they're going to cover it with a special resin um, to keep the radioactive dust down. You know, remember part of the Chernobyl building uh, collapsed not too long ago. Uh, they said it was in the turbine rooms and it wasn't to do anything with the nuclear stuff, uh, but the place is so radioactive of course. Um, they're just going to spray some foam resin over it so it won't go anywhere. And they're way behind on their um, cover-up as well. Uh, nuclear material in pools at Fukushima schools exceed 100,000 becquerels per kilogram. The level nearly doubles since last year. Um, these pools, they were saying, have not been drained since the nuclear accident or the nuclear incident. And it's just the, the mud and dust that's accumulated um, from the air down to the bottom of these pools, making this sludge down at the bottom. And uh, since it's underwater, TEPCO doesn't want to um, clean it up. And uh, most of the other schools in the area have already dumped their pools, a.k.a. into the river systems, into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the contamination continues and continues. A dead rodent halts Fukushima cooling system for third time in recent weeks. Three times a trend, friends. No kidding. And like I said last time, you know, two rats taken out and they are not putting in backup systems. Um, they are kicking the can down the road. A couple stories on Fukushima Diary, uh, Daily News. Mutated cabbage with four small ones outside and ten inside produced in western Japan. Now this is just uh, news coming out along with the opening of uh, farming in what's what was uh, an exclusion zone. A spring, uh, as spring is coming and the plants are growing, more and more mutated flowers and vegetables are found. A cabbage was found for sale 
with a little special feature, which has nothing to do with radiation for sure. Mm. Sig sign of Mount Fuji activity? Question mark. Large landslide happened in 100 kilometers uh, from Mount Fuji, 80 meters high and 70 meters wide. Um, they're saying that the swelling in one of the lakes is draining, and uh, it's not uncommon for Fuji to go off after a big earthquake. And uh, yeah, chloride concentration increases 270 percent of two weeks ago in observation holes. Uh, those are those big um, lagoon reservoirs that that are leaking, and uh, they say they can't get to until July or June. Um, that is increasing in its leak towards the sea by 270 uh, percent. Finally, in uh, informable. After investigating the Fukushima nuclear power plant last week, Juan Carlos, uh, I'm not going to slur his last name, the head of the investigating team that admitted that the work to decommission and stabilize the reactors in the plant is so complex that it is impossible for experts to predict how long the project may last. As for the duration of the decommissioning project, this is something that you can define in your plans. But in my view, it will be nearly impossible to ensure the time for decommissioning such, as com such a complex facility in less than 30 to 40 years, as current and established on the roadmap, he said. And of course, TEPCO is seriously behind on their cleanup schedule. And finally tonight, uh, I got a link to a website, Fukushima Japan Nuclear Update. Now this is a great site. They've compiled all the news um, sources for the nuclear industry together. Um, YouTube channels that are covering um, the nuclear crisis and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff you might want to check out. I'll provide a link below for that as well. Uh, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments and videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.